Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and this is episode number 32 of our Abicom playthrough on War on the Sea. Uh, we are defending the Dutch East Indies. We are doing the best we can with limited resources. Uh, I don't think we're doing too bad, uh, making some progress here. Uh, still a long way to go. Goal for right now is to get Task Force 2 and Task Force 18 into Makassar. Uh, they're going to be dropping off uh, troops and supplies. We're going to try and retake Makassar. Um, they do have a level 3 airfield on Makassar, so if we can knock that down and then take it, uh, that'll take a lot of pressure off our main line of shipping through here. Uh, we've been hit by uh, air attacks, and um, quite frankly, I'm sick of it. And we can't really replace our losses with any... Uh, any certainty so uh, we're gonna try and retake this um, plan going forward is to do that then start moving our supplies up to Batavia for the eventual attack on Palembang uh, followed by Singapore uh, if we get to I shouldn't say if when we get to the point where we are invading Singapore and trying to retake it uh, I hope to have enough of a combat force that I can run up here and stop what they have coming from their Japanese Western forces. Also, I'm probably going to have to have something stationed down here so they don't sneak in from places I can't go and mess around in Java. Uh, the goal is to have at least three supply convoys uh, so they can run relays one of them from Darwin up to Surabaya. One of them from Surabaya up to Sumatra. Uh, and then the final one back and forth. So now the problem being in terms of retaking Singapore, which is going to be a long time in the future, is what we get per week. Uh, you do need 5,000 uh, fuel supplies or 500 fuel uh, 500 engineering and 5,000 supplies to build that level 5 airfield. Um, it's going to be a long time in coming, but we're going to chip away at it and work, and uh, if we can get that by episode 100, then hey, there we go. Okay, Task Force 2. Bombard. See what kind of damage we can do before Task Force 2 and the Houston retire. Three. Hang in. Three. See if we can do it again. Yes, we can. Well, two. Okay. I think we should probably out of the ammo need. Yep. All right. So, Task Force 2. Out of here. Uh, it's going to be four hours, so they should have plenty of time to get up and out. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, Light 1 and Task Force 2 are going to rendezvous the cruisers. The light cruisers are going to join... Uh, light one and uh Houston's gonna go back for repairs all right now task 14 is on its way in is 9 30 six hours so they'll get there but getting out might be kind of an issue for them anyway um we did have some planes flying around uh, I think mostly scouts, so that's not really something I'm uh, too concerned with. Uh, Flandria is almost up to Surabaya to drop off our fuel. That is what we need to uh, rearm ships. 
Uh, Torpedo 1 is stationary reason. Uh, we're going to have Torpedo 1 just like this. This is our three motor torpedo boats. Um, good for sub-defense. And highly maneuverable. So at some point, if they do encounter something that they can attack, uh, individual control of these ships, have them some wild maneuvers, I'm thinking they might be able to avoid getting hit. Um, get in close, launch your torpedoes, and maybe do some... If they get hit, they're host, so we'll go from there. Task Force 18 is uh, taking a little bit longer than what it said it would get in there. Uh, get them in there. I don't think we're going to get them out before we uh, get hit, but... All cargo Ekasar. Hey. We've got an hour and six minutes to get them out. That'll... Get them very... Gonna get them out. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, that did next to nothing. Fortunate. Uh, well, that might take a while to uh, retake that, but it will uh, definitely give the Japanese something to think about. Uh, we do have supplies on our uh, cruisers and light one. They're going to head in. Uh, Flandria dropped off fuel. And heading back. Flies here and hearing. Really sure. A few. Wanted to unload. Back there. Put all your cargo. The engineering. Looking at. Did we drop off? Uh, by fuel, 50 supplies, that would be enough to rearm two ships once. Uh, one engineering, one... Actually, send Avia there. That way, Batavia can uh, bring some of their planes back. All right. Well, that's be a more of a slog than what I was expecting. I don't really want to start pulling troops back from. Maybe a year. Alright, well, let's see what happens. And what should come as no surprise, the invasion of Makassar has prompted the response of air attacks. So that obviously did not make them happy. Uh, we are going to maneuver as best we can and try and get our uh, supply convoy out of harm's way. We can, uh, we can save someone here. Okay, that was pretty close, and we did shoot one of them down. Uh, let's have everyone 
reverse their turn. A swan, you can continue straight so all of your guns can open up. Uh, it does look like they're heading for... That was close. And or... She took a hit. Swan start uh, It caused some damage to them, but... Oh, she shot another one of them down. I don't see any more planes, so let's uh, bring everybody to a stop. And or turned and slowed down. And swan you as well. Got one compartment that's been hit uh, by fires. Uh, once we get that under control, we can leave. Uh, it could have been worse, so sure this won't be the uh, last attack that our supply convoy has to endure. Gonna be a while before they get out of uh, range of the airplane. Okay, a brief update here. Uh, Task Force 18 did make their way out. Uh, Houston has been separated from Task Force 2 and is heading back. Uh, Task Force 7 is heading up. Our new Task Force 2, uh, four light cruisers and two torpedo boats. Carrying supplies is going to run in for the course of the night and uh, drop off their supplies and, and uh, make for Surabaya. So the uh, two ships of old Task Force 2 can rearm. Uh, up here, we have does five ships very fast, maybe one battle cruiser. Uh, Seal is coming into the area as well. We've got uh, some 139s we're going to hit them with. Uh, there was another group in here, three ships. Um, assuming that was destroyers. This may be the same thing, but. Uh, I loaded these guys with eight 250-pound high-explosive bombs to uh, deal with the destroyers. But if it's a battle cruiser, it's not going to do too much. So hopefully, uh, Seal can come in and be, do something about that. But we're going to get into what this is. And here. Just uh, automatically have these guys start their climb, increase the altitude. One of them. Oh. Head this way, it's obviously not. Destroyers. Here we've got two light cruisers. And one web some destroyers. Three of them. Fortunately, those high explosive bombs aren't against the uh, heavy cruisers. Uh, well, they are both damaged. Uh, moderate and moderate. So I think number one is going to be our target. Uh, we're going to split these guys off into...
that. I'm gonna go with line ahead. Um, head out. They gain altitude. Uh, Dame three. Want to go through everyone, make sure that they actually did target one. so we have to come around them again. Uh, they haven't started shooting at us yet. Uh, we have our sub in the area. Nope. Not yet. So hopefully the sub uh, can provide follow-up uh, once these guys get into altitude and into a position to attack. We'll uh, come back to you and we will continue with this uh, mission here. All right, are in position attack here. The one heavy cruiser that I decided to target is out in front. Uh, the way I'm going to drop this is I'm going to drop hopefully somewhere in this area so that all of our bombs uh, get good coverage. Yep. Not that perk. Bombs her way. The other group here, uh, they are turning in on their own. So, uh, get them down. Good. I have to cut away from this bombing. So the next round is ball. Oh, I'm gonna put it a little further back. There. Right, their bombs are away. Eve, you did. Oh, that was this. This looks like two. Or not. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. Uh, we're going to have... Here, just... Pull around and... Maybe they can... Uh, if the fires will spread a little bit. Meantime, we'll, uh, back and watch. All right, well, here's something interesting we got going on. Um, we're sitting here watching them burn, and it's not going to happen now because I started recording, but we had a bunch of explosions right here, see? Not sure where that's coming. But we also have a burning destroyer out. Oh, I see what's going on. They crashed. And they're firing their guns and burning each other. 
that's interesting. And they're probably firing their guns and hitting this cruiser, too. So, oh, uh, we'll take a look at the damages. Heavy and moderate, so they are getting their damages fixed. But this is heavy and moderate, and this is minor and minor, which they didn't have any damage whatsoever. So these guys, uh, break this guy off here. I'm going to break him off. We're going to send him up to uh, fly around the uh, destroyers up here. They, uh, maybe they'll sink each other. Silly game. Very silly game. Watch them dance for a couple seconds. Kind of wondering if I brought my planes down to uh, D level here, if they just blast the hell out of this uh, destroyer that's sitting next to them. I don't know if it'd be worth the risk, but it's something to think about. As they cruise past. They're just not going anywhere. They're stuck. Resting. This guy's obviously not going to sink. He did get most of his fires under control, but... Heavy and moderate. Uh, it's a little better than what it was. Heavy and moderate. Or moderate. So I'm going to let these guys uh, beat themselves up for a little bit. And we'll uh, get back to the strategic map. Alrighty. Uh, truth on mode task force here. Uh, I don't think this is going to make much of a difference. More troops on the ground. Make sure everything offload everything. Admiral Noah in the background thinking this is all very amusing. Alright, let's have you head down and... Have you head down and rearm? Uh, they vanished. Not a surprise there. Uh, but we're going to bring you up a little bit like this. And set your patrol right there. We're going to change the patrol on Salmon. Uh, bring her out a little bit. Area here. I haven't seen anything down here, so I'm going to bring the uh, snapper back up. Might have her come up like this, and then I'll decide what to do with it. Time. Let's check. Up. But we have begun the invasion of Akasar, so... What do you think about that, Admiral Noah? What do you think? It's all good? Alright. Admiral Noah approves. Deal is in a position to attack this group, so... Let's do it. Cool. It's not quite night. Oh, we're in a... Fairly decent position to attack, I would say. Let's turn in. Uh, we're gonna just sit. Wait. Set up our torpedoes. Uh, we're gonna launch all four of them. At this cruiser. One degree spread. Now let's identify her while we're at it. That's not the cruiser. Uh oh. Well. Oh. Okay, so it's five destroyers. 
we are not gonna attack this. This is a new group. Get that scope down. Go to silent running. And we're gonna get out of here. Sorry about the, uh... Oh, I guess you could say false alarm here, but I really did think that was the, uh... The cruiser group. Turn your light off, dude. We have nothing to work with. Look how shallow this is. And from the looks of it, we're broaching, too, so... Uh, we're gonna try and drop this down just a little bit. So we're not... broaching. Not what I wanted to see. Cruisers. Where'd they go? Alright, anyway, we're gonna sit here silently. And uh, when we can leave, we're gonna leave. Because I'm not gonna sacrifice the seal just to take out a, cr a destroyer. I don't get any command points. Okay, it's daytime. Things are a little bit different. We do have uh, four aircraft moving in on this group of five destroyers. Uh, I've got the first one targeted. Uh, our first group is moving in as we speak. Get them in. Half point. Down the line. There we go. Get them in. A bit here. Uh, they are going 26 knots. Like they're gonna starting to maneuver a little bit to aid. A uh, little bit of maneuvering on. Down. So this is where the uh, high explosive uh, rounds are going to play. Put it just slightly, slightly in front. There. Right. This can get out. You guys are moving in. And I have. Have them to a little bit. Destroyers are very maneuverable and very hard to hit, so if we actually get anything here, I'd be real surprised. But we have to try. Got another flight moving in, but they uh, couldn't catch up before this one uh, ran out of fuel and started heading back, so I kind of had to engage. And we hit their stern. So dropping a little further forward would probably be a good idea with this group here. Uh, let's get this first group back up to speed and get them out. Like they're turning back towards us. actually work out in our favor here. They turn back toward check their damages did here. Minor damage. Okay, 
once again I'm gonna drop a little bit in front of the target but more than the last time liking that but they are dropping that out get on this bombing run think the uh, damages are spread for this guy. They've already got the fire. Uh, that was a fairly ineffective attack. We do have one more flight moving in. So, see how we do there. Has a chance to run into each other. Steve? stuck there buddy you're stuck yep oh. keep trying maybe if some of your uh, fellow ships would do some over and do all right For this okay so they are up here they are moving north our other group of Hudson's are moving up as well I did encounter him again with the uh, seal but I decided not to attack just because um, like I said, I'm not going to sacrifice this deal for a destroyer that I might not even get a command point for. And they're done with it. So, this episode was mostly uh, trying to take Makassar and not making much progress. It's going to be more of a slog than what I had originally thought. Um, the only thing I want to do before we uh, leave isn't that, but we're going to do it anyway. Voice. Off. I know they don't have radar, but I'm going to click that better about myself. Almost guarantee this is going to be a sub attack. Yep. Oh, this is almost a carbon copy of the last episode. Turned. Goes up here, so we're going to. Send you up. Send you up just a little slower, though. And you. Manual. Get over in there. See, this is why I'm thinking that maybe an attack on... Surface group. with these guys would go pretty good. Just because they're so maneuverable, they'd be so hard to hit. So slow you down a little bit. I have to dodge some to here. That shouldn't be a problem. Picked up the sub yet, but we are hauling ass, so... See? 
run in here. Not even sure a torpedo would uh, kill if I hit this guy. We may find out. Not careful here. Ding! <laughs> Alright. Slow you way down. Well, try and make as little noise as possible up here. Pick the sub up. Can we go pretty far? Up here. If you head this way. Speed. Way. North. Searching and see if we can uh, come up with this submarine here. Is got him. M4 is moving into position. Quite see him yet. You know he's there. Catch up to him. And drop our speed down to nothing. Starting to get the hang of these little uh, torpedo boats here. Got four depth charges, so let's lock them all. Red. Are slowly catching up to him. So maneuverable. Get out of them and then uh, drop here. Lost them. <laughs> Go to cheat mode here. All right. Fire your depth charges. We got four of them, so. out it does look like that was a pretty successful hit there stopped your screws EM5 is going to move in for a next strike if needed have you come to a stop
right there, resting on the bottom now. May not even need a second break, critical and critical. She blows her ballasts. Coming to the surface. Here. It's four. Stop. I don't know. Are converging on the enemy. Hasn't blown her ballast yet, which is kind of surprising. Getting right on the bottom. Uh, slow down with you. Your tor uh, depth charge, big twelve of twelve. Uh. Drop three. We're actually going to come in. Thing is, I don't want her to blow her ballast and come to the surface. So she's got five inch guns, and we've got uh, not five inch gun. We've got. A 400. Well, those are torpedoes. Even have anything to shoot with? Machine gun. Where'd she go? Weird. All right. Eden. We're going to get this guy out of here, move him a little bit. Actually, he's the only way I can see this up. Oh, unless we have him. Okay. Slow down. Right behind us. Right here. Blow it down. Change my call. Come in nice and slow and sit. And drop some depth chart. Guy off.
let's down this one. There. Did I actually? Stop. Need to go with the depth charts. Very neighbor damage. Critical. It's uh make sure she sinks. Alright, well that was pain. But we did get her down. <laughs> One submarine down. You guys are gonna have to go back and rearm pretty soon. What I had intended on finishing the episode is here, so let's in Okay. Meanwhile, there's probably a whole fleet moving in, and I'm not... Uh, you... You're gonna move in? Arm... Dead. I think we have the fuel. arm here. I feel on 50 supplies per. We can rearm one of our. Rearm this ship. Or not. All right, the last of our uh, business we have to attend to today. For Houston. Ghost. All right, let's take a look at... Forgot. 34 days. <laughs> Another month for uh, Houston. That's actually not as bad as what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it was going to be something like three, four months back. All right, anyway, before we end the episode, get out there. Got some destroyers we may have to deal with. That will be for a future episode. Anyway, if you like day 31 of our defense of the Dutch East Indies, hit the like button. Want to follow along? Hit the subscribe. Any thoughts, tips, or advice? Leave those in the comment section below. And we will see you for episode number 33, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.